to my Moo Math today. We're going to look at rules for exponents. This is the third one and th of a few videos, and we're getting more difficult. Okay, so we're looking at simplifying division uh, with exponents. So we've learned so far that what you want to do is look at the coefficients and just divide those. So negative 6 divided by 2 it's just going to give me negative 3. So that negative is just a division problem of, of with integers. A negative divided by a positive is a negative. And then we're going to go to the exponents. And now let's take one variable at a time. We have s cubed divided by s squared. We know that we just subtract the exponents. So 3 minus 2 is 1. So that's just s to the first. And then a, I have a to the fifth divided by a to the third. That's, I'm going to subtract my exponents and I'm going to get a squared. Now typically we write our variables in alphabetical order, so I'm going to switch the order and get negative 3 a squared times s. And that would be my final answer. Okay, let's look at another one. Okay, we're going to take, I'm going to make that a negative just to make it a little more involved. Okay, coefficients, we've learned just to divide those. So 14 divided by negative 2 is negative 7. And then let's deal with the x uh, variables one at a time. x squared divided by x to the, and that's a first. So I subtract and I get x to the first. And then I'm going to get y to the first divided by y squared. That's going to give me y to the, well, 1 minus 2 is negative 1. Now we can't leave a negative exponent. So I don't want to get confused between the negative coefficient and the negative exponent. A negative coefficient just means the answer is negative, but a negative exponent is the wrong position. So I've got to move this y to the first power to the denominator. So only the y is to the negative second. So negative 7x stays in the numerator or the top, and y goes to the bottom, y to the first. And I don't have to write that one. You can, but we just assume that it's there, and that would be the final answer here. Okay, this next one. We have negative 24, x to the fifth, y to the fourth, all divided by 3, x to the sixth, y to the fourth. Okay, one at a time, let's take coefficients. 24 divided by 3, that's negative 8. x to the fifth divided by x to the sixth is x to the negative first. 5 minus 6 is negative 1. And then x to the, or y to the fourth divided by y to the fourth is y to the zero we don't have anything left. So now let's clean this one up. Okay, that negative 8 just remains a negative 8. But the x to the first, we have to change the position. Right now it's on the top, so we move it into the denominator. And y to the 0, any number to the 0 power is just 1. So that's insignificant, and our final answer is just negative 8 over x. And that's how you'd simplify those. Now I'm going to give you one more. And this time, this one's going to actually have a little bit more involved with the coefficients. So let's say you have a um, 4 up here and a negative 16 in the bottom. x to the 4th, x to the 6th, y to the 6th, y squared. Let's see how this one simplifies. Okay, I'm going to look at my coefficients and I get 4 over negative 16. Since the larger number is in the denominator, that's just going to reduce to a fraction. And that reduces to divide by 4, divide by 4. So it reduces to 1 fourth. So I have a negative 1 fourth. If you want to write the 1 there, that's fine, just as a holding spot. Okay, x to the fourth and x to the sixth, that's going to give me x to the negative second. x to the sixth minus, um, or I'm sorry, y to the sixth divided by y to the second, subtract those, and I get y to the fourth. Now I need to clean this up just a little bit because I have a negative exponent. And again, the negative in the front does not affect the problem. It just means the answer is negative. The, what we have to deal with are the negative exponents. So we're going to have negative x, I'm sorry, the x goes to the denominator. So it's moving down. So we don't have any x's up there. Um, but we do have a y to the fourth in the numerator. And then in the denominator, I have a 4, and I now have an x squared. So that is my final answer. Let me make that look a little neater. I have negative y to the fourth over x, uh, 4x squared. And that negative, you can put it in the front, you can put it in the top, but the term itself is negative. And that's how you work that one. Hope this video was helpful.